part of the 10th anniversary of the election of Pope Francis, the Vatican leader and the Prime Minister of Italy were among those discussing his legacy of diplomacy. During his speech, Cardinal Pietro Perlin spoke of the diplomacy of mercy. It allows the Holy Father and the Holy See to seek out an important but also impartial role in the international arena. Joining us now is Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Andreas, great to have you here in the studio. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. So tell us more about this conference and also the significance of the Italian Prime Minister being there. So I think it's really remarkable to have a Secretary of State of the Vatican, Cardinal Parolin, and Giorgio Meloni, who's the Prime Minister of Italy, in one room discussing Pope Francis's 10 years under the focus or focusing on his diplomacy, on his geopolitical interests and how he also directed, how he maneuvered the Vatican and the Holy See's diplomacy in certain aspects. Now, to understand this a little bit better, regardless of who you ask, around the Vatican, from the diplomatic corps, the ambassadors there, everybody knows that the Vatican has a very impressive, the Holy See has a very impressive diplomatic network and a lot of connections. And we've seen this in action also, especially in these last months when it comes to the war of Ukraine or other geopolitical tensions, the travels of the Holy Father to the periphery, as he calls it. And having this discussed by these two people, by Georgia Maloney and Cardinal Parlin, also stresses the importance of that. Yeah, I want to go back to that. Um, that really was the focus of Cardinal Parlin's speech, was the situation in Ukraine. Talk to us more about that. And also, you know, what the Holy See has done in that situation to help the people of Ukraine. So I think, first and foremost, as, as, as most people have seen, um, the Vatican has been very much involved with the situation. There have been many attempts made to broker also maybe a peace deal between Russia who, that, that invaded the Ukraine and trying to get the people on the same table. Now, in a, in a breach of protocol that's unheard of, Pope Francis even went to the Russian ambassador to the Holy See, he himself personally, um, which I don't think any pope before has ever done, to, to try to ask for peace. And he came there, and even now he's trying to, 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 to move into this direction to help bring about peace in Ukraine. Another thing uh, that was touched on uh, was mercy diplomacy, this concept of that. What is mercy diplomacy? And also the situation in Italy with the migrants. I know it's really complicated. So what's really, what's really interesting here in Italy is Giorgia Meloni is known for her rather hard policy towards migrants, saying uh, we need to control our borders. We want to make sure that uh, there's not an uncontrolled stream of, of migrants, especially also from Africa, coming into Italy, coming into Europe. As we know, Pope Francis has a completely different stance on that and is really saying, no, we need to, first and foremost, we need to take care of those who are in need. So those are two different poles, really, and it's, it's kind of a, a little bit polarized also in Italy right now. And there comes the concept also of mercy diplomacy into play, where Pope Francis says, and Cardinal Parlin made this clear, that we, first and foremost, as Christians, must think of how, how do we make sure that mercy is applied to each and everyone. Well, Andreas, thank you so much for coming on and being on set here with us. Great to see you. Thank you, Tracy.